Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about Pandas grouper example. So we will see Pandas grouper, how do you group it by month or year or how do you date grouper, right? All of the different things around the grouper we are going to understand in this example. So let's get started. The very first thing, I'm going to import Pandas and then I have a very special data frame. Look at this data frame. I'm going to explain this. And this data frame will be available in the description of the video. So let me print this. So what happened? If you look at this particular data frame, first of all, I have got a list of dates. January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. And then February 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, March. Okay. And what I've done while constructing the data frame, I have simply said pd dot data frame and inside this I am passing a dictionary. Look at it how nicely I have passed the dictionary. What I have done, I have used a key called date, which becomes your column, and then I'm passing this list dates. Okay, this is also another way. Then you have a product which is all over in the all the 15 times, and all I have done a into 15. So that's going to add it 15 times, and then sold quantity how many times it is sold what i have done here in the list what i have done random dot rand integer between 1 to 50 random it is going to assign some values okay random it is assigning some values now for in range 50 getting it now, for example if you run it again you will see these values might change okay you can see it has become 43 if you run it again it has become 29 so randomly it is assigning some values to this particular column okay pretty simple expression this will be quite helpful okay so I, we have got our data frame now first thing we have to learn about the grouper what is a grouper we have to learn now for that what i'm doing let me print the data frame and so that it will be below here and it will be easy for us to write the expression now first thing you need to understand this data frame right the date column which appears like a date but it is not in the proper timestamp format. How do you check that? If you simply type and df data frame, and I'm going to pass this column date, and let me print the first value, the zeroth index value, and I want to see the type of it. Now, when you run this, it is saying, hey, this is a string type. This is a string type. Now, very first thing before you deal with data frame grouper, right the date groupers you have to first convert this particular column into date time format okay so you can see it has given me a string let me print the data frame once again so these are all strings now how do i convert it to a date time format now to convert the date time which column are you targeting first you write that so date column i am targeting and i'm saying equals to so once it is converted you pass it on to this particular column that is the meaning equals to and simply say pandas dot two underscore date time okay this is the function we will use and this function you have to pass few input so what is the input the data frame date is the input so first you pass the date as the input okay now next thing in sql you have seen right how we do in sql formatting of a particular column the same kind of a similar thing so format is equals to and here i'm going to pass what format i want now for before you write anything here within the code first you see your data so if you see my data my first month is has an abbreviation jn short abbreviation right three letter words now in such a case the parameter that you should pass is percentage small b now let's say instead of jn it is january complete word is written then what you do then you pass capital b let's say it is written in number right uh, padded by zero so let's say zero one is written then you pass m getting it now because it is jn i'll be passing what i'll be passing b forward slash then my date so for date you will pass percentage d the exact format how the string is written i'm just passing that so that Will understand to convert it to date format and then i'm saying percentage y capital y 
that's all now if i'm going to run this now this will get converted to date format now how do you check that whether it has converted for example if i'm printing it if you see it has become 2023 one one i would like to see the type just do type and then say df data frame and write your column and one of the index i'm passing just to see the type run now you can see it has said timestamp so the first learning you have got before you applying grouper you learned how to convert a string column to date time okay so this you have learned so let's say this data frame is now converted okay let me simply print the data frame so it's converted to date time format now we will apply grouper now how do you apply grouper so let me again print here let me show it in this line so to apply grouper the first thing will convert this to a pivot table okay so i'm saying pivot underscore table is again a data frame variable i'm creating is e is equals to df dot pivot table like you do pivot tables pretty, pretty simple so df dot uh, data frame dot pivot table so it will create a data frame output so let me show you now here the first let me print create a pivot table normal pivot table without applying grouper then i will apply apply a grouper so it becomes easy to understand so i am saying index and here i am i want to create date as my index so date will become the row and then next thing you have learned columns right so columns i am passing as products and the third thing that i am going to do i am going to the aggregate function and i am going to say sum okay now when you run this and try to see the output what would happen you can see this is how the pivot table got created pivot table got created where i see all the dates now sometimes you wanted to understand okay monthly how what is the total count or what is the total quantity sold monthly so for that this grouper function will be quite useful rather than passing the direct column here column name here what i am saying i am saying pd dot grouper and inside that this grouper function needs important two parameters okay two parameters the first parameter is your key is nothing but your column name and the second parameter is frequency now frequency means what let me first show you if i'm writing m means month if i look at the current style the moment i'm going to run it what would happen it said okay for january month you have total a product sold 198 times in february you have sold you can see it has got the last date of the month okay that means it's a monthly 117 now for march you have got 68 total quantity sold okay what would happen if i'm going to say y that means year now it says for the year it has got the last date of the year you have sold 383 now what would happen i'm going to say q q means quarter now if i'm going to run this you can see because we had only january february and march right march month so one quarter so one in the first quarter you have sold 383 quantities of the item okay so this is very helpful now there are a lot of questions that will come okay how do i know different frequencies so simply type pandas grouper and open this page and here there is something called frequency parameter now there is something called please see here simply click on this link this link will automatically take you to this offset aliases now here if you see it has has the definitions for example when you write m that means month and frequency when you write w means weekly frequency right so if you write q quarter and frequency like that you can refer this entire page and you can utilize based on your need so i i hope you have gotten basic understanding of using grouper right and how do you construct the entire syntax so thank you guys for watching do let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful were you able to understand this video or not i would love to read your comments Thank you. Let's move on to our next topic.